So this is going to cut down on that. When we look at the growth on Hilton Head, we look at the bed population, we look at the service population, we look at the cost for service, which averages around 120000 a year on Hilton Head, and we start looking at caseloads by investigators. We start looking at the calls for service on how many patrol officers we have available to answer those calls on any given day. It was time for us to look at increasing those numbers by one investigator to reduce some of the active cases, the caseload that they currently are carrying, to also add another patrol officer to a shift, which averages 12 officers and now we'll, can average 13. So we're creating some proactive time. The proactive side of it is when uh, we are able to get out on foot and, and walk um, a particular plaza or mall uh, or do extra patrols in our business community because we've had a rash of car break-ins or we've had some other calls for service in other areas or we get extremely busy because our beach traffic increases and it's, you know, it's soon to be June and we're gonna see that here in the next couple of weeks. Also, we have our nightlife on Hilton Head, which we have to deal with on a regular basis. So it's, you know, we, we bring extra officers out now uh, and pay them overtime because we need more resources on the road. So it's actually in the long run, it's cheaper to hire and, and have uh, the additional officers that are out there, out there full time on patrol than it is to bring officers in and pay them time and a half. So, I mean, I think the request is reasonable. It's been several years since uh, the town has increased its contract number. Would it be a public safety concern if you guys did this increase? Absolutely. 